Hello, everyone. I am Chung Yi. Nice to meet you. How is everything during the epidemic? I hope you're all safe and well and hang in there a little longer. I wish we can go back to the old, quiet life. As soon as possible. Come on. Today's topic is How to build an English listening game through C3. I set the target end user for kids. I hope it can also bring some educational and fun functions with this game. Let's take look this game. First, you can see there are 26 English picture cards, with A to Z. Each card represents an animal with an English prefix. When you click on any of the cards, the system will display the bigger graphics, and pronounce the card in English. Ant. Butterfly. Cat. Dog. Elephant. Fox. Goose. Horse. Iguana. Jellyfish. Kangaroo. Lion. Monkey. Narwhal. Owl. Pig. Quail. Rat. Snake. Turtle. Unicorn. Vulture. Walrus. X-ray fish. Yak. Zebra. Children can repeatedly select cards by clicking on them. To learn the English pronunciation of the animal. Playing this game by hand, eye and ear. We hope kids can get better learning experience. Next. Test session. Click on the bottom right corner of the screen. The question mark button on the left. The game will enter test session. During this session, three English icons will appear on the screen. Children can listen to a segment pronounced in English. Lion. Lion. Then you can select a correct English picture card. The game will show the result with the correct text. And the number of correct and incorrect will be shown above the screen. Lion. Yes, kangaroo. Yes, goose. Yes, cat. Yes, iguana. Yes, turtle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, until the correct times is 30. The game will be changed to result session. Yak. Yes, snake. Yes, dog. Yes, fox. Yes, goose. Yes, it will show the total time spent and the percentage of correct. Children can repeat this flowchart to get a faster answer time and a higher correct rate. This is lively and interesting. It's also very challenging. Okay, this is the game flow of the game. And how to make a game like this. Let's go on. First step. We need to prepare the material, including the following. The first, A to Z word selection. Here I refer to several existing cards on the market. They mainly are animals. Of course, you can change them with your selection. Choose vegetables and fruits, common toys, etc. The second, A to Z pictures. You can draw your own 26 corresponding pictures. Or you can search for suitable pictures on the internet. The third, the pronunciation of A to Z. Also based on the above selection. Recording of 26 corresponding English pronunciations. Save as asterisk. M4A or asterisk dot wave file and importing into this game project. And let's check these three session. List session. Test session. Result session. In the list session. We need to design a single card. There are 27 animations on this card. The animation with the number 0. Is a PNG image file with nothing. The so-called nothing. The background of the picture is removed. The remaining pictures numbered 1 to 26. Then use the 26 pictures prepared earlier. These 26 plus 1 pictures should be the same size. You can use the image editing software to do this. For example, paint, net. Then give two variables to this card. One is id, another one is ani. The id is used in the test session. Explained later, ani is corresponding the animation. In the program, you can use the set animation function. The animation of the card will be changed with this variable. The triggering condition is when Ani is greater than or equal to zero. The system will keep setting the animation to the number. You can imagine that this is an infinite loop function. And then arrange these 26 cards and set the Ani to 1 to 26 one by one. Then you can see the correct picture is displayed for each card from A to Z. The next is the English pronouncing. There are 26 English pronouncing from A to Z. Take them into the project. Here I recommended translate them to M4A files. Then C3 will automatically encode them into the WebM format. Next, add the audio and touch object. Now you can program the trigger condition by untouched card. 
after triggering. First, the system will show a bigger picture in the middle. Second, the system will play sound files with specific names through the audio object. In test session, the player will enter this session via the question mark button. The system will decide the number of the question first. Here I uses int random 26 plus 1. It will return a value of 1 to 26. Next, I need a card box. We can achieve this by using the array. The size of this array is 27. It corresponds to the 0 to 26 cards. It means, none equals 0, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3. And the final is, Z equals 26. Then determine where should I place the correct card. Using, int, random, 3 plus 1. The range is 1 to 3. If it is 1, on the, left. If it's 2, on the, middle. If it's, place the card in the correct position according to the decided position. That is the position of the variables rand underscore 1, rand underscore 2, and rand underscore 3. Delete the specified card from the card box. This way and so on when randomizing other cards. It will not be selected again. The next step is to random selection. In condition of left, middle, and right positions. If the correct card is not placed in that position. Then take a card from the card box. Set the card to the specified animation by using the id variable. This will show the picture of these three cards. When the player pressing one of them, the system will determine, is this answer the same as the animation number of the image? If the answer is the same, add up the correct number by 1. Add up the successes number by 1. Showing green plus 1. Set this result to 1. Make the screen show success feedback image. If not the same, add up the incorrect number by 1. Minus 1 successes. Showing red plus 1. Set this result to 0. Make the screen show success failure image. Where, because the number of, successes, will be, plus 1, or 1. This number would be less than 0. So for this number before subtracting 1, we need to check if it is greater than 0 first. Also, if the number of, successes, exceeds 30. We can then take the player to the result session. The stage will show the playing results. We will have some statistics during the, testing session. Including, the correct, number. The, incorrect, number. Total time of this round. These numbers can be presented. Let the player knows how good he played. The first one is of course, total time. Test if the player can play in the fastest possible time. Pass 30 successful tests. The second one is, correct rate. This value is calculated using the following formula. Specifically, this means that, divide the total number of times by the correct number of times. This gives a floating point number between 0.0 and 1.0 with a decimal point. Here we multiply by 100. It can make it be between 0.0 and 100.0. And finally using a int function. This ensures that the final result is a positive integer. It will be in the range 0 to 100. Okay, above. We've selected some of the important thing. If you need a deeper understanding, I recommend you download the source project with the URL in the help box. Then take a look at the detail in the project. If you like this video, please press the like button, share and subscribe. Your support is the biggest motivation for me to keep creating videos. Also, the same business service time. In this game, English picture and illustrations in the video. All created by our artist, Sheep. She has created two line decals. You can find them with these two QR codes. Nowadays, she can only draw illustrations at home to subsidize our team. If you like these two illustrations, please support us. I'm here for her. Thank you. Okay, and finally, thank you so much for watching. I'm Chung Yi. Thank you very much. Then see you next time.